So, they just made announcements that Nickelodeon is going to broadcast another NFL playoff game. Well, it'll be today. It'll be today, I think it is. Or tomorrow. And they, they looked very deep into it. But it's going to be affiliated with uh, CVS. C, not, not the pharmacy. CBS. And I don't know after the failure that they had last year that they decided this was going to be a good idea to do again. First off, you pick a failing company. Nickelodeon has been failing for years. They have not had a good show, good new show, a new show to air that's been good since Victorious. And we don't talk about the Dan Schneider, we don't talk about Dan Schneider, okay, um, yeah, weird pedo dude, okay, get out of here. We're talking about the shows themselves, okay. And that was the last good show. The only good show that they still have airing new episodes is, is Spongebob. And they have completely tainted that. Just like the Impossible Burgers taint Burger King. Hint of a new video coming up. Um, I mean, where do I even begin? Where do I even begin with this? Um, first off, right, we can talk about, we can talk about why, why they just chose Nickelodeon, first of all. We can rip on Nickelodeon some more. Um, yeah, they don't have good shows. And they have, I, I watched part of last year's broadcast, okay, and it was just a complete crapshoot from the, from the first kickoff to the, to the end of the game. Alright, first off, you picked a horrible playoff game. You picked a game with the Saints and the Bears, okay? The Bears? You gonna pick the Bears to, to be a playoff game? Broadcast something else. That game should have been on Fox. But no, Fox got Joe Buck with uh, Tom Brady and stuff. So, you know, you had to get those. You had to pick the other NFC South people. And so, you get this. And then... So, like, whenever they were, like, stomping around or, or the football was kicked off or and stuff like that, they had just, like, big splats. Pew, 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 pew. Green splatters of slime everywhere, which I think is cool. I mean, slime is cool when you're putting the equivalent of, you know, modern-day ectoplasm poured all over you. You know, that's a great symbol. You know, that's going to be awesome to clean out um, when you get home, isn't it? Or in the showers at the hotel bathrooms, and you're gonna clog up the uh, drain drains, and they have to dump ten thousand gallons of Drano down, and that just get clogged in because it's slime. It's not gonna go through, all right. And then you're gonna have a big explosion of sewage everywhere from Nickelodeon Universe. Yeah, that's great. Regardless, of that, it's just fake. It's not actual slime. Okay, so don't have to worry about that. Does that need to be there? Because I think not. Now, what they were trying to do here, I, I know what they were trying to do. They were trying to get kids involved, and more kids involved in football. Because they, but you know what that does? All the kids that are trying to play football these days are standing out here. Here, we're just, I'll show you what all these kids are doing in football nowadays. They're just doing this. They're, they're dancing on Sean Taylor's dance logo like this. Woo! Yeah, Jets Mahomes, the best guy ever. Woo! Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then they're like flossing, ah, like this, right? Or dancing on dead people's uh, memorials at football stadiums. All they're filming is TikToks. All they want is the money and the talent. They want to start the games. They want to get all the catches. They want to win the games. They don't want to practice. They don't want to play. They don't. Don't want to play. They don't want to practice. They don't want to work for it. They don't want to do anything. All they want to do is play. Play, 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 play. When they're not there in the game, they want to film TikToks. TikToks with who? Yeah, TikToks with who? Not doing that, they want to make more money by signing off on a cupcake brand or whatever. They don't care about these facts of football. Half the kids that are watching the game probably already know what football is via the, via other family members or having somebody playing in it or something. And the other half are regular Nickelodeon viewers, like the ten of them that are out there still, that just want to watch Spongebob because all of your other shows on Nickelodeon suck. 
But no, they gotta watch. They gotta watch sports that they don't care about. They just gotta sit there and wait for their cartoons to come back. Maybe they can watch YouTube videos on their on their iPad. Yo Mama jokes or or something or PewDiePie, Markiplier, instead of actually watching the games themselves. That's what the half of them doing. The other half don't care about the facts, so nobody even reads them. And thank God that they did not pick... Last year they didn't pick new announcers. They just had the same announcers. Same graphics, like CBS graphics are over there. So, hopefully they don't do that this year. Because that was weird. Why CBS? You could have picked Disney... I know Disney has ESPN, so I guess ESPN could have done this with Disney. I would rather watch them than ESPN. Biased. Just gets me thinking, man. Are they that desperate? Who proposed that? Who proposed that? Was it the NFL, CBS, or Nickelodeon? Or Viacom? Remember Viacom when they were huge? Huge in the, all the wrong ways? Did they, did they produce that? Or was it, was it a desperation heave to say, okay, we're getting old. Our average age is about, yeah, I don't know, 35 when it needs to be 33. So let's, let's, let's tune this into Nickelodeon. Doesn't matter because Tom Brady's going to torch whoever they start. And they're not going to show Tom Brady because Fox gets Tom Brady because he's in the NFC. I don't care if they're doing Jets, Bi not Jets, Bills. They're doing Bills, Patriots, I think. Maybe. Maybe they're doing the other one. We've got Kansas City, Pittsburgh. Seriously. Is it? God damn it, dude. <laughs> it's, it's like NASCAR chucking fucking kid shows into their things as well. I mean, there's no point for it. Stick to your roots, stick to your guns, which are 70-year-old retired high school football players who ran a chef's restaurant down in Tuscaloosa. And we get season tickets to Alabama home games. And then on Sundays when Alabama wins by 50 for the 10th time in a row, I think I have something else to watch to compare to their team, how their team's better. That's your demographic, NFL, and me, I guess. I haven't really watched much NFL recently because I always work on Sundays, but. That's how you should be. Not for these kids who are watching Nickelodeon who will grow up to watch anime. They don't care about sports. And let them be. They can have their own, own lives. What you have to do is you have to make the on-field product better so that the people will tune in and watch the games. The on-field product is crap. Every team is crap. So don't make it look like that they're going to be cool introducing new facts. Oh, you remember Brett Favre? No, you don't because he retired 50, 50 years before you were even born. Nobody cares about Brett Favre. <sighs> Fix your problems instead of introducing new ones, NFL. I don't even know if it's your fault. Or Nickelodeon. Stop trying to appeal to the sports market. You're a cartoon channel that advertises Spongebob and all the other irrelevant shows because Dan Schneider was your only good creator and he just happened to be a pedo, so now you suck again. God damn it. God damn it. To whoever may watch that tomorrow, I'm going to watch it. I'm going to watch it just to see how bad it is. God damn it, dude. And, uh... I'll root for Byron Pringle tomorrow. Or uh, Sunday. Only guy I'm ever going to root for in the playoffs. 